What's up everyone? All right, so earlier this afternoon, I found out that once I did my intakes, it's actually a different stage. It's not just stage 193 OCT. Um, it's actually like four or five on the cob for my year or maybe just in cob in general. It's been a while since I've used one. So I actually put the wrong tune on the GTR. So now I'm gonna pretty much just undo what I did and y'all didn't get to see me do it before. So maybe now uh, we can probably get you know close up and do it together. So for those that have never installed a cob before and oh my God, shut up. For someone who's never installed a cob before, um, I'm gonna try and go over it the best I know how. Uh, it's not super hard. You just simply plug in the cable to the OBD port. Once that's done, then it kind of walks itself through, but I will try and show you to my best of, to the best of my ability. I like to normally do it from outside of the car. So I'm gonna show you guys where the OBD port is. You got your access port package, right Cal? Open it up. It should come with its cable unless you got it, you know, used and for some odd ass reason they didn't include the cable. Get the cob. I like to plug it into the cob first and then try and find the OBD port. It actually the clip actually points in, not out. And something should happen right away. And Cobb has gotten really good at walking you through. Now it has a few settings. These buttons I've never been a fan of. I get up, down, select, and back. This is I don't like it, but whatever. Alright, so let's go to tune to make an adjustment. We want to change the ECU map. Change TCM, nope, definitely ECU map. Cannot communicate with car. Well, obviously. So you want to switch it into the on position. And one more. Give her the OK. All right, now we have a few to choose from. Okay. Big SF. This is what he was talking about online. Okay, so big. Big SF. I don't know if you guys can read that. Big SF and whatever ACN91 is. Well, this is the one he told me to download. So this is the one I'm going to download. Give it the OK button. And it's going to start doing its thing. Now it does suggest, you know, turn off your headlights, climate control, all that stuff. So you don't like nuke the battery while you're waiting just in case it takes a long time. I did mine in like just under like 12 minutes and it started up fine. So let's see. Now, if you are curious, obviously I did do some stop frame. Yeah, like, so four minutes, five minutes, and it's already crunching the old ECU off of it. And it says, please turn the ignition key to off position. Wait a couple seconds, turn it back onto the on position to proceed. So yet again, move right over. Killer. Let the car beep at you for a few seconds. Tap and tap. We're back. Back to the cob. Hit the big select button and let it do its thing. Please turn ignition key to off position to complete. Stay. Back over one more time. Killer. Hit OK. Boom. We're done. Let's fire her up. shifting probably isn't the best, but let's just go. Now I'm not using my like foregrip stick tripod and monopod thing right now. We got the cob in, now we're gonna roll around in manual mode and just see what it's like. I'm gonna put this back automatic, fuck it, so I can make this damn thing. Nope, you gotta do manual, fuck it.
I had to put the GoPro down. There was a cop right there that I just passed. So I'm glad I didn't punch it. Yeah, you keep going, Mr. Undercover. All right. Well, I'm going to head back and maybe try it some tonight. I really don't feel like trying to film at the moment. Enjoy the footage, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, more videos to come. Thanks. So I swung by the shop, ran into Connor, haven't seen his ass in who fucking knows how long. But it is time to get his reaction to the jitter. I haven't even opened it up yet. If it happens, it happens. I told everybody like, whenever I got my first ticket, I'm taking a picture with a cop. <laughs> I'm sure he'd love that. She purse. Connor makes driving cars more fun. Purse. Connor was the one that said, Matt, fuck the bike game. You need to stay in the car game. And I was like, dude, nah, bike life's where it's at. I've never had a vehicle impress me more than a motorcycle. Thank you. All right, you ready, Connor? Kinda. Oh, fuck you! Goosebumps. Okay. <laughs> On my legs. And that wasn't in race mode. Oh that, my god. That was shifting at 60. So much turbo hiss, dude. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> dude, <just came> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get Connor back in one piece. I had to see what he thought of the new exhaust. And see you guys soon.